and Murata Avenue. That city doesn't wear Homicide clothes. Wants you over there. The coroner Lude. thinks the broad was whacked using the army morphine. Don't say anything, Roy. Just get over there. <laughs> Shut your stupid mouth, Roy. I love what a piece of shit he is. What's with that getup of yours anyway? I should start introducing us as Detective Earl, and this is my science teacher, Mr. Phelps. <laughs> your interest in my appearance is starting to get me worrying. Like it or not, we're a dysfunctional couple now. People judge me with you on my arm the same way they would a fat broad with a five o'clock shadow. I really hope you're joking, Roy. Oh, wait. I probably have to go somewhere inside. Um, I mean, you can steal anyone's car. I think you're just leaving. Yeah, that one looks fine. Out of the car. Police. Oh, oh, oh no. Seem distracted. We recovered the morphine. Some of it might be unaccounted for. So what? That's life. We did our job. Closing one case opens another. Do you have any idea what is really going on while we're wasting our time following this stuff? Are you going to tell me? The deals being done right now will change the face of L.A. forever, and we're wasting our time on some hump. Someone's little girl. Visit the morgue at the end of the month when the John and Jane Doe's are cremated. Their percentages. The odds for and against lightning striking. What a fun guy. What an asshole. I do, I do like... <laughs> But he's our asshole. Yeah. So yeah. Oh yeah, because we found all, it was all being shipped in the ice. That's right. Yes, sir. And then it's still showing up somewhere. Second floor. Apartment six. It's in the back. Thanks. The stairs, up the stairs. Cole Phelps, ace stair climber. Yeah, look at him. He was skipping like every other step. It's efficient. Bukowski, you made homicide. That I did. Good to Bukowski see you. Bukowski got promoted. Hug? Or can we get on with it? Relax. Range partner with Rusty, so the gang's all here. Oh, damn. 26 years old, fashion model. Found in the tub by the cleaning lady, Mrs. Reynoldson. She called it in. We heard Carruthers thinks. Carruthers likes to make work for people. Overdose of sleeping pills. Falls asleep in the tub. Rest in peace. Case closed. Shut up, you're all drunk. Mal is 100% that it's murder. Do you mind if I take a look around? Sure. Go right ahead. What? What? It just, like, led me around. Hello, phone. So yeah, there's some snooping to do, and then a person to talk to when you're all done. Picture. Mm, gotcha. Oh. Oh. Beautiful girl. Clothes certainly aren't from the Sears catalog. Did Sears exist that far back? Yes. I assume it Se did. Sears has been that. around a long time. Nothing. Ah, oh, you fucking idiot. There's nothing. Damn. But what about the other pictures? That's horrifying yeah, monster inside. face. It's place to start. Yeah. And the other one? all top end of town stuff gives us somewhere to look nothing nope god that monster face is really bad <laughs> Phelps Val we've had a look around Rusty thinks it's a waste of time what's your theory Come on, Mal. Tell us why we were dragged down here. If the victim was alive when she entered the tub, water would have entered her lungs. 
The water is violently churned in the windpipe as she drowns. The result is that a lot of foam is generated. This foam is found at the mouth and nostrils in almost all cases of real drowning. Notice anything about our Vic? May I take a look? Be my guest. Take a closer look at her head and neck. Could you imagine if your job was to like know everything about dead things? Losing on the forearms and these look like bite marks. Very good. Dance puppet, dance. Oh, yeah. Very unusual ring. I could be wrong, but it looks like a black sapphire. Hi. <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> the neck is bruised pretty badly. The eyes are a classic sign of morphine, and the bruises tell their own story. I think one man held her down, and another held her arm and injected her. They put her in the bath to try to cover it as a drowning. And spread a trail of barbiturates. Take a look around outside on your way out and see if you can find the Sorettes. It would make my theory. My morphine would have been very quick, and there wouldn't have been much of a struggle. Okay, so find two guys who recently bought Sorettes and weren't junkies, and you might be onto something. Mmm, Cole needs to freshen up a bit. It doesn't appear to be connected. You can't use someone else's brush, though. That's just... Oh, no, that would be gross. He's got to find a clean one. I thought there was multiple objects I could do something with on there. Oh, nope. Mm -hmm. I guess it's just the brush. All right. It's a fancy coat. Whoa. Oh, the English smoking jacket. I don't know anyone under 45 who would wear one. I wish we were cool enough for fancy coats. Yeah, too bad we're not. Yeah, no. Looks like barbiturates. I just like the naked noise. <laughs> yep. Barbiturates. Man, around. look at look at that flat plane. Press X again. Press X again. Oh. We should speak to a doctor. Prescribing both drugs would make her life a roller coaster. Doodly doo. No. Not those. So you now got a bunch of places you can check. Now I gotta oh, investigate yeah. this lady. The cleaning lady. I'm Detective Phelps. I'm here to try and help Julia. Do you mind answering some and questions? And like Carlos was around. saying, there is something to be so found shocked. outside of the I yes, like room itself. I should be doing. Someone I should call. We can make those calls, ma'am. Who needs to be notified? That's just it. I don't know. Miss Julie doesn't have any family in town. Someone has to set her affairs in order. Mr. Henderson, maybe? I, who else is there? I, I don't know. If you give the details to the other detectives, ma'am, they can try and get in contact. Was Miss Randall depressed about something? Upset? No more than normal. Would she have killed herself for a man? Miss Julie would never have killed herself. <laughs> Calm down, Phelps. She was a very determined young lady. One of those people who shake the tree for all. You see what falls way. out. <laughs> Did Miss Randall have many friends? Is it? I'm not sure. I only come around twice a week. Oh, oh, oh. Mm, mm. Men friends, Mrs. Reynoldson. Spill it. Oh, that might have been present the coat. Oh. Because the weird nice to me. old man coat. I don't care if she was the Virgin Mary sister. Who was she humping? You changed the sheets. You're disgusting. 
If you're going to take that tone, I won't answer any more questions. What was it like working for Miss Randall? Perfectly fine, officer. <laughs> <laughs> that was probably bad, God, I think. Mrs. Reynolds, oh, that like was a good face. <laughs> Calls <laughs> like I got the poop. One moment, screaming at you the next. <laughs> she wanted it all. She wanted it damn quick. Oh, that's funny. Of course, being so beautiful, it seemed like she was going to get it. Like usually, the the mocap faces look really it. good, and sometimes it looked really yes, funny. Johnson. And I don't know if they did that on purpose or not. One Oops. of the other detectives will take your statement, and then you can go home. Check the kitchen. It's true, you gotta inspect all the cutlery and see if they left any pancakes on the table. That's not related. This it's ladle was used for the murder. Fresh groceries. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> it's like you know all the stuff in this room is pointless, but you can go fuck with it anyway. Maybe if... No. They used this rolling pin to inject the morphine. <laughs> No, they used they ladled it in. Hey, Mormon clothes probably. <laughs> no, it's just the iron he cares Everything about. Everything here is going to be relevant. Damn it. Uh, I mean, you'd think the clothes would be. No, it's funny. Yeah, they just ladled that fucking morphine in so there. So yeah, there is something to find in the uh. Follow up these leads. Can you get in the hallways of this building desert? on your way out? Aha. You think Carruthers has called it right? Up. You down. I think it's just back down. Like like as if you were know. leaving. Ah. I'm a gal away. I've met enough girls in my time who can't handle their dope. Mm. Mm. No. Ah. Ooh. Mm. Mm. That one. Mal will be pleased. Well, that's hardly conclusive, given the number of those things we've come across recently. The autopsy will confirm it one way or another. I think our work is done here. Doodly do. They kind of trick you with that one because they don't really put investigation music on. But you get a doodly do when you find it anyway. Right, so now you can go to where she got where fancy dresses at? or to the doctor's office who may have prescribed her hella drugs. Dresses! Cole wants to try on the pretty dresses. Why did he walk all the way around to get to the... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's really baffling sometimes. A tear to my eye. They're good police. How would you know? You got promoted so fast you barely had time to learn their names. Let me fill you in. Kowski's a pushover. Galloway's a drunk. You could learn a thing or two from both of them. Please. They couldn't work a vice case if their life depended on it. I don't see why they'd be any better or worse at it than me. I noticed you said better. Hubris disguised as humility. Kind of your trademark, don't you think? Why do you Ouch. always twist everything? Galloway's got nothing to prove. He's been on homicide for years. And he's welcome to it. You're a terrier, Phelps, and that's what I need. Not some old bulldog who can't get up a flight of stairs without coughing up his lunch. Yikes. <laughs> He's getting a little too real. <laughs> like, he might be my favorite character because he's just such an asshole. Well, he is probably the realest person. <laughs> he's pretty real. Yeah, these are so good. So, no, they made these multi milk balls this, this big. Yeah, that should be good. That, the rattling's probably picking up on the mic, but you know what? All two of you, I don't care, because these are delicious. All right, let's go try on some pretty dresses. We were just having a look. We ain't done nothing wrong. Leave us be. You can't go <laughs> oh, my God. God. <laughs> Obstruction, Obstruction of justice. Can I help you with <laughs> <laughs> Your judgment you, will be swift, ma'am. I haven't done anything wrong. No, ma'am. We're making some inquiries. Usually, it takes a couple of tries to get the show. No, I had to let her go. Is she in some sort of trouble? She's dead, ma'am. She was found dead this morning. 
How long had Julia worked as a model? Well, she worked in New York before coming here. She was a very beautiful girl. Okay, sure. Could you tell <laughs> us why you let Miss Randall go? Husbands sometimes come in here with their wives. When Julia Randall modeled, the husbands were often more interested in her than they were their wives' dresses. The wives weren't happy, and neither was I. Did she have any close She was too here? pretty. Actually, yes. Heather Swanson. Would you like to speak with her? I'd like that very much. Please don't inform her about Miss Randall's death. Leave that to me. Very well, officer. Heather, these gentlemen are from the LAPD. I'm Detective Phelps. This is Detective Earl. I understand that you worked with Julia Randall, Miss Swanson? Yes. Julia helped me get my job here. She's not in any kind of trouble, is She's she? A well, it depends on it's what you'd call life. trouble. Oh, no. Maybe Mrs. Is, is it, is it that trouble life? that she's no longer she's living? Because <laughs> that's a big problem. <laughs> that is a big problem. It's a lovely engagement ring. Do you like it? Henry gave it to I'm me. Very interested in engagement rings. Do you mind if I take a closer look? That's some pearl, Miss Swanson. Would have cost Henry a fortune. He must really love you. Oh, Cole Phelps just eat it. Just hop. <laughs> How did you meet Julie? I didn't tell you why I was I interested in them. They sustained my me. My fiance, Henry Arnett. Henry is your beau. Tell us about it. Yes, he is. Henry has a fashion business. He and Julia have been friends for years. Okay. Are Miss Randall and Mr. Henderson engaged? Who's he? I think Henderson was the name on the... Oh, no. There's no name on it. I mean, it's legit, then, that she wouldn't know what the fuck that is. She was wearing a sapphire engagement ring. Someone must have given it to her. She never mentioned a man named Henderson to me. That's all for now, Miss Swanson. Could you ask your fiancé to visit Hollywood Police Station? It would be very helpful to our inquiry. Now, wait a moment. I don't think I'll pass on that message until you tell me why you're asking all these questions. Julia Randall was found dead this morning. What? Oh, no. Oh, I can't believe it. I would laugh so hard if she just... Then just starts so running, and then you have to. Roy and Phelps are like, "Ah, damn it!" <laughs> she was so full of life. Well, ma'am, life is not like a bank account. <laughs> hey, move over, Earl. You can drive. All right, where to? Let's go talk to this doctor. Why are you in the crime scene nice photographer's move. car? Nice <laughs> old sweet lips in there about her friend taking the big jump till we were half out the door. Very slick. <laughs> I figured we'd get more out of her that way. You're learning, Phelps. We'll make a vice cop out of you yet. <laughs> Does it mean I have to be a slime ball like you? Yes. Uh oh. That actually goes on your resume for your next job. Professional slime ball. <laughs> I'm, I'm certified. <laughs> I have a PhD in slimeology. Finest tobacco. Yeah, going to the deli, get a sandwich. Yeah, come on, Phelps, you're hungry. That was awkward. That was a little weird. Oh, it's it, it's like enough of a ledge that he has to like jump on it. That's so weird. That is weird. Not who I'm looking for. I do not remember. It's Dr. Stoneman. There's a stone man. 505. 505. Stoneman, office 505. Time to go up. Oh, good, they do have elevators. 
I wouldn't trust 1940s elevators, I don't think. Yeah, probably not. I swear, if we locked up every doctor in this town, Vice would be able to work half days. Come on, golden doorknob, where are you? There it is. Come on, there you go. Yes, sir, your name? LAPD. We'd like to see Dr. Stoneman. Dr. Stoneman is with the patient. Would you like to wait? No, we wouldn't. Tell him we want to see him now. There's no need to be rude. Save it, sister. Dr. Stoneman, I have some gentlemen from the LAPD here to see you. Got a couple uh, of assholes. Please, I'll, uh, I'll see this patient again after they've left. Your investigation is much more important than my sciatica. I'm just in pain here. Leave me alone. I don't think you can run at escape velocity so that you can knock him down. Damn. <laughs> Give him something to really see the doctor about. <laughs> yes. Dr. Stoneman, we are investigating... I just like shoving patients. people over in this game <laughs> because... Well, it's just funny that they, they immediately go limp as soon as, like, anything even remotely considering damage hits a character. Like when Phelps got his toe ran over and he just... <laughs> he just, like, T-posed and fell down. <laughs> How well did you know Miss Randall? Fairly at all. Um, she'd only been a patient six months or so. You didn't like her, did you? Wasn't a question of like, detective. Oh, I know what that one was. That was the the, the prescription. prescription was dated, yeah. When you looked in her eyes, you knew how a mouse felt before a snake. Not an ounce of warmth there. You wrote Julia Randall a prescription for Benzedrine. How can you account for that? Miss Randall was in the uh, fashion business. She wanted to control her weight. What do we have now, actually? Morphine, sleeping pills. Sleeping pills? Uh, I wonder if it is the sleeping pills. What's. See what he says when you hit accuse. We believe Ms. Randall died of an overdose of morphine. Yeah, oh, probably for anything, probably anything else, else. And then the sleeping. Yeah, so it's probably sleeping pills. That is a very serious allegation to level at a doctor, young man. Sometimes you gotta shake the sleeping pills and see what falls out. I what? I'm aware of what is prescribed under the Harrison Act, Detective. If you wish to make any other ridiculous accusations, I suggest you direct them to my attorney. We often find the more obstructive Damn. people tend to be, Doctor Stoneman, the more they have to hide. She's his own telephone right in front of him. Bing, bing, bong. <laughs> Just walk into a doctor's office and start messing with all the stuff on his desk? I don't think so. Hmm. I don't think this is any use What's to us. that last thing? There's only Oh, you two. can't target that little weird red rectangle. Yeah, I really wanted to. Okay, time to use his phone. Operator, give me dispatch. Yeah, I've got somebody who's not complying here. Putting you through now. Get the paddy wagon. Cole Phelps, batch 1247. Phelps, stop yelling into the phone. How can I help, detective? I know oh, they're... They'll, they'll hear him better if he, if he shouts. That's how phones work. Oh, is that it? The, the further away the person is, the louder you have to talk? Yeah. Please, thank you. Al? Sure thing, Mal. Autopsy. We'll be right the auto autopsy. Op autopsy. Yep. Uh, let's go to the morgue way. The morgue you. All right, asshole. You can go see your doctor about sciatica. What's sciatica? It is a problem with your lower back. Oh, that's sucks. It is persistent pain in your lower back. Usually because 
some of your spinal discs are pressing into the sciatic nerve, which is uh, a major nerve. That. Uh, yeah. Right. And it's a major nerve in your back. You have to press the button again. <laughs> it opened and then just closed on <laughs> Sorry. I had to drop a, a knowledge bomb on you. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 bing. Later, loser. About what? Hey, uh, that's an open door. Oh, that's I just to the alley. Know. That's closer to the vehicle. He looked relieved when you said she was dead. That's a strange reaction to have to the death of a young patient. He's so good at being a cop, but he's also such a shit. Can you oh, if only that one? gold car wasn't going so Where fast, you could have caught it. Yeah. Gotta catch them all. So you definitely want to do uh, Kirby? Yes. Co-op Kirby after this? Hell yeah. All right, sweet. Have you Star Allies comes out on like the 16th, so I'll have it before... Nice. When they got some to hide. Long before we finish this. certain things people have a right to keep private. Until it gets in the way of police work. And it's only private when it suits them. A couple of drinks and every doctor I've met will spill your darkest secrets in a heartbeat. Yeah, depending on how Odin Sphere finishes, we might be able to sneak in Shadow of the Colossus or Loco Roco before Yakuza. Sweet. Because those are both short games. Mm -hmm. I just don't know how long it'll take to do uh, the last two characters. No. Nope. The arrow, there's an arrow on the wall that tells you where the morgue is. There it is. Cole, Roy, I have some information for you. You're the only person enjoying this, Mal. Get on with it. Wait, where are there two bodies? confirms two sets of hands, so we have two killers. Death was caused by heart failure due to an overdose of morphine. Have you dragged us down here to gloat? We already heard your theory. We agree that she was murdered. Yes, of course. I have something else to show you. All right, Mal, what gives? The dead guy's name is Jimmy LeBlanc, career burglar. He came in this morning. Someone stove his head in with a lump of two by four. So what? Good riddance. I found two surrettes in his jacket pocket. Wow. Hang on a minute, Roy. We're listening, Mal. No sign of morphine use and no metabolized morphine in his blood. Scratch marks on his face. Which could be from getting his head remodeled. Time of death, Mal. Maybe an hour or two after the Randall girl. So you're saying Laughing Boy here could be one of our killers? That's a hell of a long shot. Thanks, Mal. We'll check it out. I found something else. Yikes. Sorry, I don't play. I don't know if it's significant. His wallet was empty. The only other things he was carrying were the harmonica and the morphine. Hmm. Carruthers. The harmonica yeah, was the here. murderer. I'll send him over. <clears throat> they have a guy called Henry Arnett in interview two for you next door. Let me know how you get on. Sure, Mal. And thanks for the lead. Sure, Mal. Thanks for the lead. Oh, fuck off, Earl. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's take this sweet ass. Oh, no, look. it's literally the building right there. You don't even need oh. to get in the car. Lame.